Hello everyone, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mega Pony. This is probably gonna be one of my worst Let's Plays. I'm actually pretty concerned about it because, to be honest, the reason we haven't done a recording Mega Pony yet is that neither me or Sapere really grew up with the series. Uh, Sapere did do a stream on it, but I don't know. We have never really gotten around to playing it. So, not growing up with this series, I have to say, though I actually do enjoy Mega Man, the biggest issue I have with it is that I suck. <laughs> um, and actually recording Mega Man isn't very easy, and the last time I tried, I got kind of frustrated. So, I'm doing a few things to help me out, like I set the, um mode thing to infinite lives, so I went ahead and, you know, I have, I have infinite lives to play around with. Ah, uh, and that'll be an issue to work around. I will be right back. Alright, problem fixed. I can now save the game. <laughs> It was a little, really silly problem, not with the game myself, but with how I have my, uh, computer set up. Kind mare. <laughs> That's pretty great. Um, <laughs> and pretty adorable. Alright, so, let's see. If I can, um, so basically Mega Pony has the, um, what, what Mega Man would normally have. It has the jump and the shoot to start with, and I can... I don't have any sub-weapons, sub of course. Um... Yeah, and I've heard... And like I said, I'm going to make myself this easy on myself in of various manners. So first, I set it to infant lives. Two, I looked up a guide of which is the easiest boss... Is, which is the easiest boss order, which is probably considered cheating, I'm not really sure, but I really don't know which bosses, like, I didn't even know where to begin stage-wise, and like I said, I suck, I mean, look at how much damage I've already taken, and playing this kind of game while recording isn't particularly easy. Now, the game does give you items to help make things easier, but... Oh, also, you don't have the slide. But, um... You can buy items, but gems don't actually seem to be that abundant. Honestly, if I had one complaint of the game so far, it's that. And I'm not saying they should make the game a total cakewalk, it's just that... I don't actually know any really easy way to acquire gems. So this whole gem thing isn't that relevant for me, but hey, I'm sure, I'm sure once I've played the game for a bit, I'll actually start getting some gems, um, to work on. Oops. I see there's a gem opportunity there, but I fucked it up. Ah, uh, and I'm probably gonna die pretty soon. Though I think I probably reached the checkpoint around now, uh, cause this actually does work off of... Uh, halfway checkpoints in the levels. Like, I think Mega Man 8 did that. I think Mega Man 8 did halfway checkpoints. Kind of funny, actually. I thought no one really liked Mega Man 8, so I'm surprised to see that make a, um, you know, thing. Just gonna charge right through you. Huh. Have no idea how I'm really supposed to get those. Well, the energy tank might just be if I jump it platform now. I'd have to jump down to it from above. Well, that's unfortunate. And then spikes happen. You can see, you can see part of why I originally found this game pretty daunting, I think. And don't worry, there will probably be more spikes. I don't actually remember. I do, like I said, I tried to record this earlier. Uh, having the issue being that I suck, and I actually did play this stage and proceeded to do terribly at it. Oop. Darn it. Ah, fuck. I'm getting hit by that a lot. 
See, I have an issue with taking way too much damage. I swear this is one of the harder Mega Man games I've played. Like, I actually started because I heard it was an easier one I started playing 6. Oh, here's another issue I have with this game, and if I could stay save mid-stage... Oh yeah, I can actually keep attacking the butterflies. I don't think they'll really drop anything of relevancy. But, um... Okay, so you see this ladder? I'm not even going to show it, because I don't really want to go backwards in the stage. But if you climb down this ladder, you you die. Like, the ladder could have ended a little sooner or something, because I actually call that bad level design. Like, there's nothing down there, you just die. Nice. Kind of thing I was hoping for. Okay, so, um, maybe I can grind butterflies for health and relevant stuff. So I guess I should, I guess I should do that. I mean, sorry, I don't know if that's really the right thing to do, but it seems to be a thing. It seems to be a thing I can do, or maybe I can't infinitely. No, no, I didn't start dropping items again. I just gotta wait. Hey, diamond. Well, okay, maybe there is an easy way to get diamonds after all. I mean, I don't know how many, like, it, that's probably not worth very many diamonds. I assume what the small diamonds are, like, literally worth one or something like that. Also, uh, for those unfamiliar with Mega Man, those little glowy pickups don't, uh, c cylinder thingies don't do anything yet because I don't have any sub-weapons yet, so, you know. That's unfortunate. Oops. I also don't seem to be the best at hitting these 100%. There we go. Nice, proper health pickup. That's what I need. That's what I need if I'm going to have a chance of getting to the boss, because I actually got pretty far in this stage, but there's a lot of those manticore things later on, and I swear, I find those things really hard to dodge. Oh, thanks for the extra life. Didn't really need that, but admittedly, it's kind of my fault for grinding. Come on, just give me one last health pickup, and yeah, I'll be- Fuck! Of course I would do that. Waste all that time grinding. See what I mean, though? Like, fuck those spikes. That was- that was really nice placement of the spikes, and I really had a lot of time- like, if you're not a- honestly, I'm all- I am playing this, I'm going to try my best to not get, like, super upset. But, I don't think I could recommend this game to someone who isn't a Mega Man fan. Like my- like myself, who is kind of new to the series, because it doesn't- it does not go easy on you. Um... There's a lot of spikes, and a lot of, you know, jumps and stuff that are unfamiliar to, uh, you know, uninitiated player. <laughs> and personally, I would more recommend a game like, um, Mega Man, what was it, 7? Because another reason I, uh, went ahead with playing Mega Man, I, I went ahead and started playing Mega Man 7, is that it's the first game in the series to use a lot of mechanics from this game, or at least a few of them, like, um, the buying items. You know, and buying items is pretty relevant. Shoot. Like, I swear, they really could have made that, like, considering this is technically, from what I read, supposed to be the easiest stage, or at least the easiest boss, that could be easier. And that was really close. Yeah, I'm not gonna grind this time. Considering how easy this is to mess up, I... Fuck, like that. Like, having more health doesn't help you there. I actually look forward to when I can afford the Mega Buster. It's actually kind of weird that there's a buy item in this game, because even in the first game that they had the buying system, the Mega Buster was something that Mega Man just starts with. He doesn't have to purchase it. He already owns it. <laughs> to be fair, I mean, he doesn't usually keep the up his other weapons from the Robot Masters for some reason. So, I mean, you know, if you want to argue logic, I can't really... I can't really efficiently argue logic here. 
Also, not sure how to deal with those spikes. I think you're supposed to buy something called a spike guard, but I don't know. <laughs> It'd be pretty great if it was specifically like spike guarding your feet from spikes, but it probably isn't. I can at least say I've figured these things out a decent bit. So, yeah, considering that I suck at this game, as I've said... Oh, come on, those guys shoot a lot. Fuck. Okay, but considering those guys, um, considering I suck at this game, Probably each robot master uh, area will be broken up into, you know, their own little thing. God damn it. My least favorite enemy. There, good, he's dead. I sort of sad that those are my least favorite enemy in this series, but they always bother me. Freaking me tools. I think overall the only other thing about this game that I can complain about is actually the fact that you're playing as a pony and not a person, and obviously the mega pony. But ironically, I feel like somehow that makes my jumps feel off sometimes. I don't know if anyone else knows that, I'm willing to bet most people probably haven't noticed that, because it's kind of dumb and it's not like I don't like this game, I just swear I half the time I, I feel like I'm, my jumps feel off. Not, well, not half the time, like, more like, I don't know, occasionally I just, they don't feel off in like a terrible way, and it's not like every time I jump, um, that halfway statement was way overstating it. It's more that just, like, sometimes when I'm estimating distances it feels weird. So I'm estimating distances for hooves instead of, you know. There we go. Okay. Fuck you! Ah, darn you. Me too, will shut up. Okay, right, you gotta, you gotta get them before they start doing that whole constant pew thing. Okay, so you want to be near the edge of the edges for this. Would you, would you care to pop up? Would you care to pop up, please? Um, okay, I had to get close enough. Thanks, Obama. So, yeah, lots of, lots of, lots of enemies in this game. Like I said, I wouldn't really recommend it to newcomers of the series like myself, but I feel bad not giving the game any recognition because they did do a rather faithful rendition of a pony version of Mega Man. I mean, jeez, what more could what more could someone who loves Mega Man ask for? And even someone who respects the series, I you know. Like, sometimes I don't even sound like I respect the series, but I really do, um, though sometimes the idea behind it can fa- Fuck. Shit. I was right there, too. Sometimes some of the ideas confound me a bit, but I do really find it cool, and it has, like, the series has obviously gone on. It's one of those really long-lasting series. Besides that, there's just something, I don't know, pretty sh it's one of those charming series, you know, it's, it's an never-ending thing, um, you know, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's, 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 it's full of fun and wonder, and, and, for some people probably do what Mario does for me these days, which I still love Mario games and play just about every single Mario game. Excluding some of the sports titles, and even usually those are pretty good, like, you know, the, uh, I heard the sports ones are surprisingly really fun. I just don't have any of them, but yeah. The sports, what did I say, soccer? Soccer's really fun is what I meant if I said something dumb like the sports ones, obviously I'm talking sports, but yeah. 
Okay, so now that I've actually gotten as far as I did this stage once, maybe I'll, um... But yeah, I'm doing a lot better, actually, without, um... I don't want to hate on Zepera, I actually feel like something I think he mentioned, which is that it's a lot easier to play these kinds of things without a co-commentator. Like, I actually feel like I'm getting anywhere, even when I'm doing dumb things like this and not really getting anywhere. Oh, these dumb butterflies. Give me your, give me your money. Give me your money and your, most importantly, pl health, please. Health, please. Health pickups, I could use them. That's not health. Give me health. There. Give me more health. Also, is it just me or does, like, does health pickups do- don't health pickups normally restore a bit more health? Maybe it really is just me, but I swear, like, they- I, th I think they usually do. I don't know. Okay, one more. Yeah, let's fuck off. I don't need these dumb butterflies. I don't want to spend a bunch of time, like the last time, grinding and then just fail to, like, falling down or something stupid, because, I mean, that's pretty easy to do. If there weren't all these pits after that area, I actually would just grind like that, like I was, but, yeah. I feel, I feel that would get a little stale pretty easily, and I think I have enough health to do this as long as I don't suck at it, which I, I mean, I could very easily suck at it, like that. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, at least I can make it to the door. <laughs> which is a good sign, because I believe that means my respawn point will hopefully be here, maybe. Oh, hi Fluttershy. Let's see, what do you do? You'll probably kind of kill me pretty instant. Oh, shoot. You're the, you're that, you're like that flash person. Okay, so I'm not supposed to shoot your bunny, I think? Oh, fuck. Or maybe I am. It's a little hard to tell, though you freeze me in place if I shoot it. I don't know. This is an interesting boss pattern, and certainly one that I think is actually unique to Mega Man, which is cool. Yeah, she does kind of keep shooting them over my head if I- oh shoot, unless I'm already in the arc of where the bunny would- ah oh, god. Why do you jump at me? Okay, well, I found- I found the winning strategy. Good job, Fluttershy. The yellow one- the yellow one. No one- no wonder you're no one's favorite. Ow, oh, and then you- and then you changed it up. Okay. That's- the, fl the floating one's actually kind of a pain. Otherwise, I'd have a perfect plan for beating you. No! Ah, oh, fuck. I can do this. I can probably not. Fuck that shit. Ah, freaking flying squirrels. Can you believe it? Flying squirrels of doom. Okay, come on. Come on, Mega Pony. You can do this. You're after all, Mega Pony. I mean, who else is going to beat Fluttershy? I. I'm pretty sure the game actually tells us why Princess Celestia sends us to fight the main six. Maybe, I think, that, I think they're supposed to be robots, concerned we're a robot. And I'm pretty sure the Mega Man series actually has the law of robotics, which means that, you know, robots can't hear, her, can't harm humans. Jeez, what was I saying? They can't do it with people. I don't know. But yeah, robots aren't supposed to hurt people. All those times Wily just 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 ignore that. That wasn't really harming Wily. I mean, you know, come on. All these games and Mega Man cells not like shot Wily in the face. Though I remember there was one game that I heard he would like considered shooting Wily at the end. Oh man, that running animation's actually pretty sweet. You got the stare. Alright, so we did it, and it's a freezer. <laughs> 
Okay, that's pretty great. Freaking makes enemies cry. So, I will, um, save. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And I will check the shop. See what I mean? I've actually collected. Welcome to my humble shop with my low prices. I am no flop. But I know that you are on the fly, so what would you like to buy? See, I don't even like even the cheaper stuff. I don't can't really afford anything. And on a, what I really want, honestly, is the um friendship mega friendship buster. I don't know how good it is, but I'm going to go on a limb and assume it's pretty good. If ever more gems appear, come back and spend them here. Anyways, so I, was, so I uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.